Hey everyone, this is Mr. Everything, and I wanted to do this video to show you how you can experience the new Mac Pro. Uh, kind of in a weird way, but it's something I found out about. Uh, you need to go to Safari. I tried it with uh, Chrome, and it doesn't work, seem to work. I know the format of the video, the, I, I don't like the portrait style videos, but it, I f find it more convenient than trying to record the screen of another camera. So you go to the Mac Pro here, and you go to learn more. And uh, I think you can look at it. Well, I guess that's just kind of the web page layout. You can kind of interact with it slightly, but if you go to the AR, and you can see it takes a minute to load. I don't think, I'm not sure, but I don't know what devices. I assume it's probably dependent on the uh, chip inside of it. Um, obviously, I'm using an iPhone 8 Plus, so it has the depth sensing camera. I also tried it on an iPad Pro, and it, but it worked on it too, so I guess you don't have to have a dual lens camera. I'm not positive on that though. And you can see you can interact with it and look at it. It's, I mean, the quality, it's, you know, it's pretty decent. I think you can tell it's not real, but I mean, it's still very, uh, gives you a great idea. So then obviously the main part here is if you go to your AR and this, you sometimes you have to move it around a lot. I, I've never really used AR before, so I'm not certain with all the controls, what all you can do with it, but you can see you can kind of position it around. I would think people that use AR would be more familiar with this, but I, I've never used it. And I would think most iPhone users probably haven't, aside from like maybe the Animoji stuff or you can uh, resize it. I guess that would be the true life size of it. And you can put it by your computer and take a trendy picture if you hit that, put it, let everyone know how cool you are. And I'm not sure why the camera's out of focus. I mean, I know indoor lighting's not the greatest, but my normal, normally on the camera app, I wouldn't have it be like that overexposed, but I can't adjust it from what I can tell. So I can put it there and it looks like it's going to be huge. Assuming that it's scaling you know, the, the depth of everything correctly, that's a pretty big computer, probably as big as the uh, older Mac Pros. And again, this, yeah, you can manipulate it a little bit. I'm not too good with it, but just a little thing uh, in case you saw someone else posting that this is how they're doing it and this is how you can do it. I'm not, again, I'm not sure on all the specifications because I've never used AR before, but go ahead and try it with Safari on Apple's website and you can play around with it. So thanks for watching and to see me in the next one. Have a good one.